Hello everyone and welcome back to Oxenfree. In the last session we saved Ren in the woods and then we headed over to the fort over here and we are on our way to save Clarissa but we have not actually managed to catch up with her yet. Uh, the door out of this room is locked so we need to interact with old shiny red face over here. Crack. High in the Cascade Mountains of Washington, the Navy opens the world's largest radio transmitter. Its one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. Hey kids, wanna play a game? Ah. Uh. uh what's it doing? What is Hangman? it doing? Hangman? Be sharp and listen, mister. This is going to tell the classification board a lot about what can be expected of you in the future. How many questions will you be able to get in the allotted time? Like a test? Uh, this this isn't how you play <laughs> yeah, man. Here's a simple one what. to start, so don't hold your breath. What is the name of the school you are standing in? School Ten. we're standing in? Uh, isn't this nine. like a classroom? Eight. I, I thought it was just like a, a fort. Seven. Six. I don't fucking know. Five. U.S. Army Radio Communication School. That's the stuff, That was the thing to interact with. Now you're swinging. Okay, that was a complete guess. It all guess. goes into your final rating. You want to get a good rating, don't you? Yeah. You want to be a good soldier? Why the hell would we want to be a good soldier? <laughs> sure. Yeah, sure. If that's... If that's what you want. Excellent. Oh, Jesus. Uh, what is going on? Ugh. I feel like I'm stuck on a tilt a whirl. Why is that still the right way up? The board. Just keep the pointer on the button. The board is still the right Question way up, two. but we're not. What did the communications officers at Fort Milner call codes? Cookies. Who Ten. would know that? This isn't World War Nine. II. You'd call codes cookies? There. Now you're cooking. We got told that earlier. Coded radio transmitters have an important job, and you wouldn't want them to be unqualified. Uh. Uh, no. I'm trying to turn my head upside down to job. read, <laughs> right. read the fucking thing. Like anything, right? We are an island okay. race, uh. and through all our times, the uh. sea has ruled our breaks. But be wary, young ones. All right. If I'm answering the questions, you can leave Jonas out of it, okay? One last round, and you've cleared your exam. Pencils ready. How many officers died in the sinking of the USS Canaloa? Uh, Ten. The other ships and other ships Nine. To sail them. No idea. Above all Eight. victories, beyond all loss. Seven. In spite of changing values of the world. Five. I don't know. Four. It's probably one of the bigger two. Three. Fifty-three? Five. You're off, Bob. That's not gonna cut it. 97 brave men and women died on the USS Canaloa. 85 officers. 12 Wait, 97 passengers. wasn't an option. It all adds up to another fact for the classification board. Just another fact among many. Man, I didn't need to get that far. Uh. Just Bruh. This kid. I can't do anything. I guess I can try and expel the demon like I did with uh, Ren. Yep, there's the triangle. That's so fucking creepy, man. The United States submarine Canaloa is shown for the first time in Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. 
Captain Periscope, the commander looks out over the ocean's surface. Kanaloa was lost today, lost at sea. Are you near. the dead officers? Is this? Are you the dead officers that sunk on the Kanaloa? Would make sense. We are sunk. We got teleported underwater, right? So, what do you want? What? What do you want? For the first time. For the first time. For the first time. Time. Just. Time. Okay. <laughs> what? I. That was not fun. You all right? Are you feeling better? <sighs> I'm feeling. Let's start with that. Great place to this start. This has been United News, and thank you for listening. This is just unbelievable. Don't we go this anyone, way now? Can anyone just? That's got to be Clarissa. Let's get her and get out of here, or use her radio and get out of here. But let's just get out of here. Hey. That light's still red. Can I do anything more with it? Orderly! Orderly! No. Not in happening. Not in happening. asleep right now. Be still so as not to wake her. Uh, pardon? Um... Huh? Having the normalist one. Cross your fingers. <sighs> Clarissa. Oh, well, look at this. The super twins decided to grace me oh, with their presence. So I glad to see I you. Maybe wasn't good enough for nope. a house call, doctor. So are we super twins or doctors? Uh, okay, don't even start, Clarissa. We came. We're here. Be happy. All right, don't get all, you know, but be honest. Did you come because I needed help, or did you come because there was a radio? Um, Clarissa... I want to hear it from Alex. <sighs> yes, of course, Clarissa. I really don't appreciate the question. Okay. Speaking of the radio, where is it? I don't know, I can't get it to do anything I want. Alex, want to take a look at this? Sure thing. Yeah, no, this is... This is like a low frequency thing. It, it's just meant for the base. It won't. I don't think it can beam out. <sighs> really? No, no, no. Isn't there a way? The officers who know your problems form well will give you a friendly and sympathetic hearing. Who is that? Cross your fingers. Oh, God. Not again. Jonas, wait. We're in another. We got looped again. Crap. Well, just keep me in the loop. Hey. I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> sure. Clarissa! Oh, hi. Is there anything like, can we cut her down with something? <sighs> Holy crap. What is it? Is something wrong? We're, we've been in a little time loop thing and it's just been kind of extreme. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was a stupid thing to say. Just come on, I'm here with you. Clarissa? Oh. I would have swore she was in here. Better gone than dead. Oh, maybe this was the, the thing, the radio she was using. If we can get it to, I mean, she got it to kind of work, so... Yeah, it it only broadcasts within, the, within a short space. It's not going to do what we need it to. Really? How do you know? Because we've done this before. Jonas, we're in a loop. We already just... It's okay. Knock yourself out. Wait, is he actually going to try it? Let's let him do it before I do this. In case this takes us out of it. Although it looks like he's not actually doing anything, so sure. Clarissa. Uh, what the fuck? Cla Clarissa, what are you doing? Alex, don't worry. She's like... I can never forget she's that like I am an American. Clarissa, will you wake up? There will be other ships. And other souls to sail them. Jesus. Oh my god! Why would she do that? Okay. Was that actually her? Why I feel would she like... do that? We're, we're, we're not... It's not like we're... She killed herself. Oh my I god. I feel like that can't actually be her. Herself. They made her... I, I just... Uh, this is... I feel like that was Jonas, just a vision so or something. Horrible. 
I don't We're gonna get down there and the body's not gonna to. be there. We We should get to the others. I I can't even imagine telling them. Or or how to tell them. I'm just... I I don't even know how I can tell her mom. I mean, we she knows me. This can't Oh god, and just the fact that I'm the one who who was here and God. I don't think the body's we'll, gonna be there. We'll figure it out. This is unbelievable. That's very red again. Can we do a thing? No. Wow. Hey, um, there's no way knew she it. got up from that, right? Like, there's no way. We Wait, she's alive? How how is how is that possible? I'd bet all the money in my pocket that no one could survive that. So why isn't she here? It was this a vision. Isn't possible. Cause unless she's built of rubber. Hallucination? Dual hysteria? I I don't I don't know, Jonas. Knew it. Well, regardless. Good news? Yes, Jonas, of course it's good news that Clarissa isn't dead. Christ. That's not why I hesitated. Of course it's good news if she's not dead. I'm just saying if. What, you think she's a zombie now? Three seconds ago, you said she couldn't get up from that. Now you're leaping right into zombie. I'm not saying she's a zombie. I'm saying we don't know what she is currently. Okay, <laughs> let's get out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here. What a terrible place. What a nasty place to be. We've been most places on the island now, right? <laughs> Let's oh, yeah. just get back to Ren at the ah, that's that door. Cool. Maybe he's had better luck than us. It's uh, yeah, we've been literally everywhere except the Adler Estate now. Does that mean we're almost done? Anything? Nope. <laughs> it just <laughs> it brought it up like one second later. Back to communications tower. Cool. If there's only one place left, we haven't gone. But I mean, maybe we go back to places. I don't know. And then this is going to come out, like, when we left the communications tower, we could have gone left or right. And so this is going to come up the right path, I guess. I assume. I assume. Mayday. Yes. May. Oh, crap. This isn't. Ren, this is just coming out of the speakers on the roof. <laughs> it's not. Ugh. My god. Is this what I sound like? How can anyone stand and listen to me if all Ren day? If and Nona are in the comm tower, just where did Clarissa hobble off to? Let's talk to Ren and Nona before we try and find her, because, like, I don't know, maybe they know something we don't. Maybe. So that's Fort Milner. And then this way to Epiphany Field? Not that. But Epiphany Field, we're already in. That must be to the Adler Estate. It just is saying it wrong, I think. And then this way... I don't know what this would be. To a fucking bunker door? Hello? Can we do anything with this? Okay, this is going to be important later. <laughs> Oh. Today be considered a blast and fallout shelter was commissioned and built in 1946. The above ground hub leads to a bunker 60 feet beneath the Earth's surface, molded with layers of poured concrete and packed earth. The lead blast door will only unlock through use of the call and response system, a setup devised by Lieutenant Commander Matthew Feinberg to prevent tampering. If the Catbird Station, a small watch point in Edwards Forest, radios in a decoded attack, the shelter door will automatically open, triggering an alarm and compulsory evacuation. Huh. This early version of what would today be considered a Okay, well, we know where that station is. We're going to have to do that. We're going to have to trigger a false alarm, I think. Where does this go, then? So that go Is that just a loop up there? Man, the fucking mega slow walking speed makes me not want to explore. Because <laughs> it's just... It's like, oh fuck, it's so slow. 
Oh yeah, that's gates to the estate for sure. Okay, well we're gonna have to come here later. Okay, I just wanted to satisfy my curiosity. And then let's go around here and this will link up with the right, I think. See if there's any stones or anything. Oh, there's another listening point. This sentry, sculpted by Lieutenant Peter Hasborough. It was installed here in 1979 to remind all who view it of Fort Milner's original intent, to serve as a beacon of harbor defense. Though the base would eventually become acclaimed as the birthplace of many radio innovations during World War II, and until its deactivation would be known more for its schooling and the tragic sinking of the USS Kanaloa, the fort's spirit will always be that of the watchful sentry. Steady, protective, and ever vigilant of enemies, both foreign and domestic. Hmm. Curios, curios. Up. Yeah, okay, this is just linking back up. Cool, cool. Here. So Glorious has just vanished then? Hey! Hey! I... I saw you guys coming up from the tower. Hey, yeah. The Dick Tower. I think you mean Harden Tower. Please don't ruin that for me. It's all I have left. How's Nona doing? We heard... What I imagine was her first radio cast ever earlier. Yeah, no, she's, I don't know. I mean, she's frazzled one moment, then that makes me frazzled, then she sees that I'm frazzled, so she like freezes up. Any luck contacting somebody? Nope, no luck to speak of. And honestly, I thought this week was going to be a big karma dump. I found like 50 bucks in the street, and I knew who it belonged to. Well, we're all here now. Well, I mean, except Clarissa, but we're mostly all here, and we'll come up with something. I hope so. The stupid radio has been what my therapist would call a negative reinforcer. Just won't work right. Just, I'm so glad I took that second brown. <laughs> I what? don't know if, it's kind I of, that's the best you know, idea. It's just about to start doing its thing. Wait, second brownie? Ren, please tell me not this is a joke. Not when all going on. This is a joke, right? Mm, why would this be a joke? I'm not joking. Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like, it was like half of one, all right? It's just to level me out. It'll, it'll bring me back up. That's what it does. You better pray to whatever God scares you the most. It does level you out, because if this screws us up, you're on summary probation. Don't say that. That's not, that's not nice. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. All right, let's go see Nona. I don't know if Nona's going to be a big fan of this either, and you're trying to impress her, so maybe getting, like, completely fucking high when we're in a scary situation that needs people to be at their best. Like, maybe not the best fucking idea, mate. Perhaps. Mayhaps. Not the best idea. No, 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 no. Where you at, girl? You at the very tippy top? Quick as you like, Alex. You know, don't let me slow you down. Oh my god, why did they make the walking speed so slow? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna actually die. This thing doesn't work. Not getting anything? I'm getting something, but it's like, I don't know. We heard you on the squawk box. When I tried it, I just got static and a, a weird sound, so. That's about all that I'm getting. Uh, sorry, I was like, weird earlier. But, hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? Sure you haven't. have to know something. <laughs> We've been, like, out there. Uh, yeah. It's we... been ghosts. Nona, ghosts are going on. The blackouts, the hallucinations, it's all been ghosts. Ghosts? 
Really? Yeah. Yeah. And it would really help. I if mean, you, you could literally just said you saw multiple copies of us, right? You must. Headache. That can't be that oh, far fetched. Oh, I got it. This is great. This is perfect. I know exactly what to do. Do you? Yeah, totally. It's Maggie Adler. Maggie Adler? Yeah, she has a boat. Had a boat. I mean, the boat's still here, but she's not. She's dead. Her house, manor, or whatever it is, is behind a huge gate. You can see it coming up here from Main Street. No, I know, but the keys to it are here, somewhat readily available. My sister, Allie, worked at the parks office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. All right. Okay, so... No, no, gonna... no, we are not. We are not going to go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident, Burnout. Hey, come on. Bro. I'm not a burnout. Why okay, would you say so that? I ate, like two brownies. Yeah. Hey, and... Jonas, seriously, back off, okay? Ren's a good bloke. <laughs> thank you. And thank you for taking advantage and saying bloke. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in what? this to begin with. What? And now you want us to trust you when things are really bad? Come on, Jonas, this is nobody's fault. Ghosts are never anybody's fault. Why is he suddenly fault? being Certainly a dick? not ours. Yeah, guys, this isn't really a productive. It should be obvious to even the cheap seats that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. Bro, I mean, stop talking. We all grew up with each other. Alec okay, Ren, just take a step back, all right? Jonas isn't a weirdo. He's a, he's a good guy. What? Your good guy is like deploying a missile barrage of insanity on me right now. I know you said Ren is like harmless or whatever, but I'm over giving him passes. And you should be too. I don't need a pass from you. Alex Guys, is... stop it. Stop. The collective neuroses call a truce, okay? Yes, please. Look, I don't care what Caveman Jonas says. <laughs> there what is, is a that? boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Sure Not thing. that you... Not, not that you wouldn't be okay. Yeah, it's not like, you know, I'm fine. Whatever, I'm ready. She shouldn't, you shouldn't go alone. We don't need like three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my, like, brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is going to start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. Why is Jonas such an asshole case. suddenly? You, uh, meathead. Just shut up, both of you. Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night. Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of. Keeping in mind who's taller. Who do you want coming oh, with fuck you? fuck me. Yeah, your uh, oldest pal. Oh my god. Or your new psycho stepbrother. Ren, you're up. Phew. I, uh, I didn't realize how much I had emotionally invested in that. Alex, are you kidding me right now? We had to practically pull this guy out of a bush like an hour Jonas, ago. it's not... Somebody has to stay. You said it yourself. Jonas, Ren is my friend too, okay? Nobody gets a monopoly on Alex time. It's like a rule I have. I don't need... I don't need that, but... I don't know, I guess I thought we were... I don't know what I thought. Forget it. Doesn't ah, matter. Ah, shit. That's Did right. I fuck up? It doesn't matter. Ren, I swear to God... Okay, before things get stupid again, good luck with the whole key thing. We'll be waiting, guys. I was thinking because it was his idea and because I've spent so much time with Jonas that maybe I should take Ren, but... And obviously taking Nona would mean leaving the two of them there together, which seems like a bad idea, so... I went with Ren, but now Jonas is pissed. I guess whoever I didn't take would be pissed, though, so... Had to be done, I suppose. Uh, wait, let's talk to Nona. Uh, feeling any better? Are you, um, feeling any better since the last time we saw you? I don't know. Like... I'm getting the flu, honestly. But whatever. I'll rally. Just come back with the key. Will do. I still need you, Jonas, okay? So keep your knee pads on, mentally speaking. I'll see you when you get back, Alex. Man, he sounds real pissed. Fuck me. But he also started that argument. Like, I do think it was dumb that Ren took another brownie, but like, fuck. He's not actually done anything bad aside from that. I really don't know why Jonas was like, hmm, today I shall be a dick and just went off on him. But that means there must be a ton of unique dialogue here because if we could have actually picked any of the three to go with us, then there has to be unique conversations for all three. 
which is very impressive. But I think Jonas was definitely the one more in the wrong there, so I think this is I think this is the best option we could have picked. Ren's idea, Jonas started being a dick. We've spent a ton of time with Jonas already. Yeah. I'm happy with it. So, what's the fastest way to get into town? It'd be... We'd have to go down, right? Because going left just takes us to the woods and you can't get to town that way. And going right... Uh, yeah, we have to go right, I guess. Yeah. God, can you believe Jonas back there? Blaming me for everything. Me. I can't imagine dealing with him the whole night. How have you not just, like, attacked him by now? It must be so annoying. His whole shtick. Just like, what a complete ball knocker. He just had a bad moment, Ren, okay? It's been a night of extraordinary circumstances. I think we can cut the guy some slack. Okay. Oh, good-hearted one. I'll turn the other cheek if it'll make you happy. It would. Thank you. See, this, Ren's a good dude. He's like, you know, justifiably pissed that Jonas just went off on one. But we're like, hey man, he's stressed. Let's give him a break. And his response is not like, no, fuck him. He's like genuinely like, okay, I'll, I'll let it go. I like Ren. He can definitely be a bit much, but he does seem like, at heart, a genuinely good dude. So, you know, that's the most important thing, right? Okay, so this is where we need to get to, but we need the key, so let's keep going left. We haven't been down this path before, but let us see what there is to see. Super pretty. Love the art. Can we go in here? No. Off to the cliffs. Cliffity, cliffity, cliffity cliffs. Cliffity, cliffity, cliffity cliffs. Okay. Can't go in here. This data command annex, as it had been dubbed, was used during the base's early years as the communication nerve center for outside military installations. It was also the primary office of Marianne Bozek, a civilian who developed communications protection through the invention of the famed wall system. A type of radio frequency identification, WAL, standing for Wave Assisted Lock, assigned each person who was stationed at Fort Milner a call sign through which they could use their portable two-wave radios to unlock prescribed doors and gates. Though the mechanics are considered outmoded today, the island still uses this security method to honor its rich history. Cool, cool. Aha! This is where we split off and went down to the beach the first time. Nice, okay. I now know where we are. So that's it then. We've explored the entire island apart from going through that gate to Maggie Adler's house. Aside from that one little bit, we have explored every inch. Come on. So the Parks and Facilities building is just on the way here. It's not far. Yep, we just gotta break in, find the key, if there's a key, hopefully there's a key, and leave. There's a key, don't worry. Unless there's not. <laughs> but hopefully. That's Alex? That's Clarissa. Uh, what? How'd she get up there? Clarissa? 
What are you doing? Clarissa, how, how are you? How are you not dead right now? Like swan dive out of a window, empty pool dive, dead. Holy! Jesus Christ, Alex! Yeah, possessed. What is happening? Ah, oh, this is what it, I looked like when, when that stuff happened. Clarissa, can you hear me? Clarissa, wake up! Fight them off! Take control of yourself! Um, hang in there, baby! Oh, can you, like... I mean, you helped me before, right? Can you help her? Is there... Whatever you did, can you do it again? Oh, I don't even want to look at her. It's so... It's making my stomach churn. This happened to Jonas, too. It's... It's... I don't know. It's like when they want to talk or something. Hey, we're not toys, guys. Clarissa, how are you, uh, doing, honey? Alright, get the fuck out. Alex, seriously, can you help me with this a little? Clarissa? To start, can you, like, climb down there and let us get a look at you? No? Don't want to? Uh, you think you can control me? I'm trying to help you? I'm... I'm trying to help you. This is... This will... Help me. Help me? How will that help me? I was looking forward to seeing you. Yes, I used to dream about something like this. It, it's helped the others. Ren and Nona, they've gone through the same... Gone through what? Their children have gone through nothing. And when you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Uh... Is she... okay? Or... Um, that's a complicated question. Clarissa, are you alright? <sighs> Steady. Just take it easy. We didn't I'm complete fine. the triangle thing, though, I'm so fine. is she still are possessed? You sure? Because you took quite a little tumble. Clarissa, was that... Is any part of you in there just now? In where? What are you talking about? That stuff you were saying. You seemed upset. How did I get here? You don't know how you got up there? You remember that part at least, right? Being up on the thing? Clarissa, you were dead a minute ago. Do you do you realize that? You saw your body, no joke. Okay, well, I'm alive now, so hallelujah. You really don't remember hallelujah. anything? Hallelujah. No. I remember something. I remember you, Hallelujah. that radio, and I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Bruh. Wait, it's uh, Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? What I is occurring now? One question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Are you. Are this you is like the beach this? thing, but here instead. It's uh, my turn, if that's what you mean. And you, of all people, should know what my question is going to be, because I'm not going to waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new stepbrother are all- You're not blaming me for this, Clarissa. This is- this is so outside of logic, of reason, of anything that could possibly be anticipated. It's really not her fault, Clarissa. Jonas, I'm sorry, but you don't know who you speak of, dear. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. She creates chaos. She's a storm chaser. Don't listen to her, okay? She's pissed at the world, and she likes to take it out on me, and, and none of what's happening makes any sense anyway. I'm not. It's not no, a... No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God, the town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking Clarissa... forehead. And a giant, lit up, Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Excuse me? Because of her. Like, do you understand who you're living with? It would take a very sick person to see it that way, and I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last... God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa! Uh, she is a pox, Jonas. You weren't there! No one was there, so how the hell would you know? Everyone knows. Everyone knows the freak sister who let her brother die while she clung scared to the bowline. Okay. I mean, if she can't swim, then anymore. obviously she can't I, save someone from I drowning. I can't believe we're talking about this right now. She is... Stop it. Right now, I mean it. Ren, it wasn't my fault. Really. You don't have to convince me of anything, Alex. Believe me. Now we're going to break into that office, we're going to find the damn key, and we're going to go home. No. No? What do you mean? All the Alex in free. Whoo, boy. I got a massive basket of deja vu dumped on my head just now. You ever get that? 
I haven't had one of those since I saw those two brown dogs. Uh, I guess you don't remember, like, anything that just happened. Right? That is really uh, sad. I like, think I'm going to need a refresher. She would feel so, some measure I mean, of responsibility. Judging by your face, it was probably bad, but... That's about par for the course, going but by But, like, it's not a fault pattern. that someone drowns, yes, like, you know? totally freaking out on me. Blaming me for everything more than everything? Um, I remember... I kind of remember Clarissa being strange. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that, strange. But that's it. All right, the office is, like, right there, so let's do it. Like, yeah. She's totally going over the top with it. Like, obviously, I'm sure Alex does feel okay, some well, measure of responsibility. Or whatever it's going to end up being that lets us into the gate. So, Alex, Yeah, I just want to talk for a moment. <laughs> get in the office. She would feel some measure of responsibility if he was going to leave and she convinced him to go for one last, like, day out together. And he died on that day out. Like, obviously, you're going to feel a measure of responsibility for that. We all know why but we're here, right? To get the key from the office... It's not actually her fault. Just checking, because... We're not you could exactly have just as like easily died in a that? car crash leaving town, right? Like, we tried this and it doesn't open, right? Yeah. Yep, this isn't budging. All right, we're kicking this baby in, like a a western or something. It'll be fun. Uh, wait, what about like the alarms? <gasps> okay, we're fine. I just wish I could remember what else she said, like. Where they even keep the keys, or, like, where they stored the mail and stuff? Hey, know what kind of jet that is? I think it's a banshee. Used a lot in the Korean War. Actually, it... Oh, wait. <laughs> it's a banshee. Now, that's funny, right? We're dealing with ghosts, and a banshee's painted on the ceiling. <laughs> right? It's like... I mean, it's not hilarious or whatever, but it's, uh, comical. Just forget I asked, okay? <laughs> Do me that favor. You know it's great. Do I... Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it, it's like there's ah. way more stations on the dial. Way more stations on that, the dial. Here's another one. It says they're wall radios. This will open the, the thing that said it needed to be huh. in the 60s I or guess something? it says it's that frequency thing. Where each frequency is like a key to open doors around here. Yeah. They used them like identification tags, I think. It must open the gate too. Uh, okay, cool, great. Oh, cool. Check this out. Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family, or, like, hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? We can head back. I'm just gonna... Here, this is... To... Oh. Steal a boat and leave. Whom it should concern. Classic opening. This island and its history is a lie. Wow, firing on all cylinders right at the start. Uh, what? What could that mean? I've been compelled by both forces outside my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction may carry a far greater... Forces outside our control? Like, like ghosts or the army or what was she talking about? Who knows? Inside, you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station, 140.1, and used it to relay clues to nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Oh boy. Find these beacons, and the notes within, and discover the true chronicle of the island. Oh, scavenger okay. hunt! Oh, scavenger hunt! Scavenger hunt! Yeah, 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 hold on. To whosoever finds the material, know that I am discomfited for keeping it hidden, and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve. But also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time. And truly, for the interest of time itself. Signed, Margaret Adler. Oh, I've had, oh, I've seriously had like dreams about this. Finding a secret, digging it up, it turning out to be a mechanical unicorn. Okay, hold up, please. We got the key. It's this new radio. That's the main thing. Yeah, because there was something, I think it was like way up the top left of the map, right? There was a room that... It said it only opened at like 60 frequency or something, and our old one only went down to like 80 or something, but now we'll be able to get it, so cool. I don't think there's any reason to go down there. So let's head back up this way. I mean, there was one, there was one room, like right, one, whatchamacallit, station thing, like right up here, so maybe we can get into that. 
So do I have two to swap between now, or is it just that we've just got this one now instead? I don't think we still have the old one. I think it just this is the one we have now, so we will be using that. Huh. Let's go explore some new areas. Some new rooms. Let's see what we can find.